So if you want to know how to do targeting in YouTube ads, then this is the video for you. Even if you're brand new to YouTube ads and you've never ever ran one before in your life and you just want to see what options are available, then you're definitely watching the right video. So stay tuned. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so because I'm going to be sharing all of my knowledge and experience that I've gained over the past six years with Google ads on this channel. So make sure you hit that like subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I drop new tutorials. Okay, so if you're brand new to this whole YouTube ads thing, we're going to need three things before you get started. Number one, I'm going to need you to have a website or a landing page. You need a place to send the traffic to the people who click from your YouTube ads. They need to go somewhere. Second thing you're going to need is an actual ad. Now you need to upload at least one video to your YouTube account. Now I don't want you to get all caught up in trying to make the perfect ad and trying to make sure it's the best and trying to get it professionally designed. Remember, just put together an ad now so that you can get some data and see how people react to the ad. Number three, you're going to need your Google ads account in expert mode. Now expert mode is going to allow you to see a whole lot of cool things. And I'm going to put a detailed tutorial on how to get there in the description below. So make sure you have those three things in order before you start. So I'm going to be breaking down this video into four parts. Okay. All of them are going to be campaigns and all of them are going to be campaigns focused on a different piece of our targeting. So our first one is going to be, for example, our placement targeting. Second one will be our keyword targeting. The next one will be our audience targeting. And lastly, we're going to focus on retargeting. And if you don't know what any of those things mean, it's okay. I'm going to be breaking them down one by one in the section. And I'm also going to show you how to set those up. So let's go. Okay, so the first type of campaign we're going to make is keyword based. And a lot of you might be asking, yeah, but Devin, aren't keywords for like Google and like AdWords, aren't they for like those types of campaigns? Well, actually not. YouTube might be a social media platform. So you might go onto your main YouTube page and you might see all of those videos that you might be interested. But YouTube also doubles up as a search engine. Focus on that little search bar on top. Now, the cool thing is when people are searching for particular problems they're having in their life or maybe advice or maybe reviews or anything related to things they're struggling with in their lives, you get to show up and you get to make your ads trigger when somebody searches in certain keywords. So although YouTube is a social media platform, it's also a search engine, which means your products and your services can get connected with people who are struggling or looking for solutions to their problems. That's what makes YouTube ads targeting so powerful. And if you're asking how many of these searches get done on a daily basis, about 4.87 million. So there are plenty of searches being done every day and plenty of opportunities for you to get clients for your product or for your service. So that's out of the way. Now, how do we actually make a keyword based campaign? I'll show you how. All right. So I'm in my Google ads right now. And what I want you to do is make sure that you are in expert mode. And if you don't know how, there's a link in the description below to show you how. So I'm going to go new campaigns. And it's going to ask me for a goal. I'm just going to select leads because we're interested in producing leads with our YouTube ad. Now, when it comes to conversion goals, you can leave this as is. But if you see goals that are not really helpful towards the campaign you're creating, you're more than welcome to just remove them just like that. I'm going to say continue. Next thing I'm going to do is say video. And the next thing I'm going to do is say continue. Over here, I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube ads. And I am going to name this for keywords since we will be targeting keywords. Now, bidding strategy, you want to leave it on maximize conversions when you're starting off. Soon as you get about 30 conversions in the past 30 days, you can then switch it over to target CPA. And I'm going to launch an in-depth video on that as well. So don't worry too much. Leave it on maximize conversions. You can always come back to it. Set your daily budget. And then you are going to come all the way down past locations and you are going to come to this section over here where it says advanced settings. Now, when you do that, you'll see there's an option where you can actually choose keywords. 
Now, what you want to do is you can either enter your website here and what Google will do is it'll automatically pull in keywords related to whatever products or services are on your website. So when I do this and I say enter, you'll see that it kind of creates a whole lot of keywords for me, but these are mostly unrelated to the type of service that I'm selling. So what I usually do is I open a second window with Google Keyword Planner. You'll see it over here. And what Google Keyword Planner will do is it allows me to go and find keywords related to my specific topic. So for example, if I was doing, um, let's say weight loss, um, I'm just going to leave it at weight loss and I'm going to say get results. As you can see, it's going to generate a whole lot of keywords for me, keyword ideas. And most importantly, it's going to show me average monthly searches within a particular region. Now, these monthly searches are for Google, the main search engine, but you'll find that a lot of people searching Google are also searching YouTube for the very same keywords. So what you want to look for is you want to look for keywords with high volumes. I'm talking about over 500 to 1000 searches every single month, because if you go for the low volume keywords, you're not going to get your videos shown that much. So you want to make sure that you have the high volume that you need so that you can start scaling your campaigns and that you can get more and more conversions as well. So look for like between 100 to 1000 searches per month within your particular area. Okay. And once you do that, you're just going to add them over here. Now, for the sake of saving time, you're just going to say, um, let's just go for web design, uh, website design. And let's go for um, responsive website design. Now, what I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to get about 14 to 28 keywords. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to target whenever somebody's searching those keywords. Also note, Google is going to try and upsell you and tell you to remove keywords. Why? Because they want you to use their broad targeting, not the specific targeting. But trust me when I tell you, you are going to get extremely good results when you go with keyword targeting. You can ask any YouTube ads expert. They will tell you exactly the same thing. So don't be swayed when they try and push you towards targeting in their way. And once you do that, all you're going to do is come down here and you are just going to upload your YouTube video and let's just do that. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to grab one of my videos in YouTube studio. Uh, there we go. Grab this guy over here, come back here. I'm going to put him in here. As you can see, they're telling me to shorten my video, but that's okay. This is just for an example. You're going to put your final URL over here. So let's say I wanted to send them to this page. I'm going to put your final URL there, add your call to action headline, and then you're just going to say create campaign. And that's how you create your keyword campaign. So next up, let's talk about placements. Now, the cool thing about placements is you get to show your YouTube ads on certain channels or certain YouTube videos. Now, for example, you're watching this channel right now. You might see that when you watch some of my videos, they get interrupted by people trying to sell you digital marketing services, financial services, anything related to marketing. Why is that? Because those people are making sure that they place their YouTube ads on my channel and you can do exactly the same. So when you think about certain content creators, certain influencers that have the key audiences that might be attracted to your products and services. For example, if you think of PC components, um, brilliant uh, channels to be advertising those on are channels like Jay's Two Cents or Linus Tech Tips. Why? Because they've got an audience that is deeply engaged and involved in the PC building and PC modding community. So that would be an awesome place to show your YouTube ads. And there are millions and millions of YouTube ads, and there are probably billions and billions of YouTube videos. So you're never going to run out of places to put your ad. Now, that being said, how exactly do we go about doing that? Now, I'm going to show you how coming up right now. 
All right, so the next thing we wanna do is do the placements campaign. So we're gonna go new campaign once again, and we're gonna select leads again, go through all of this again, and say video and say continue. Here we want to choose YouTube ads or rather we want to name it YouTube ads and we're just going to say placements. Okay, now bear in mind, this is going to be the second campaign that you're creating and this will run alongside the first one. All right, once again, maximize conversions. Everything here stays the same. Daily budget of about $10, that's fine. Locations is cool. So we are going to go over to this place where it says advanced settings and we are going to select placements, okay? Now, once again, Google is gonna try and warn you and say, don't do this. We wanna choose where we show the ads. No, it's best left up to you where you're spending your money. And by doing these things, you are gonna see what works and what doesn't work instead of just handing over your budget to Google Ads to just spend where they want. And if it works out, it does. If it doesn't, it does. Um, if it doesn't, that's your bad, you've already paid, okay? So. Here in the placements menu, you'll see that we get to choose YouTube channels. So for example, if you're selling something um, tech related, you can choose any type of tech influencer. So for example, MKBHD, I think that's right. I think that's right. There we go, YouTube channel, Marcus Brownlee you can choose his channel and you can show your ads on his channel only. So you can just search here and search for the influencers or the YouTube channels that you know will match your brand. Another thing you can do is you can go in here and directly add a YouTube channel. Um, so for example, if you go to YouTube videos over here, oh sorry, I'm in the wrong place. If you go to enter over here, that's the way you can put it in. So for example, if I wanna choose my own channel, it's gonna say view channel over here, I'm gonna copy that, go in here, and I'm just gonna put that in there. And I'm just gonna say add one placement. As you can see, it's gonna target Neptune Design. Now, of course, Google Ads doesn't want you using this particular method because um, you have more control. So they are gonna upsell you and try and tell you to remove content targeting, tell you it's not working for you, tell you you're gonna get much more conversions if you do it that way. They always do this. So don't be worried if you see these yellow alerts over here. Now, a very cool tool that you can use is something called TubeSift. Now with TubeSift, you can actually put a whole bunch of YouTube channels or a whole bunch of YouTube videos in your targeting at once. Now, if you go through and try and find every single video that talks about weight loss or um, ab workouts or um, PC parts, you're gonna be on YouTube for hours and hours and hours. But with TubeSoft, it actually does all of the hard work for you. And this is paid software, by the way, so if you wanna do it the free way, you can do it the free way, no problem. But TubeSift is extremely cool because you can just search for videos by a keyword. So for example, if I say weight loss uh, recipes and I say search, check what's gonna happen. It's gonna go through YouTube, find all of the weight loss recipe videos, make sure they are monetized and then it's gonna give me a list over here. And now all I have to do is click on get links, copy this and go this side. And when I paste it, there we go. Add 10 placements, it's gonna give me all of those URLs. So what you wanna do is you wanna really think about what type of YouTube videos really complement your ads and what type of problems do the people have that are watching those videos. So for example, if you're doing something that's gonna help somebody get better eyesight and you might go and maybe target videos that says um, how to or rather heal eyesight naturally. There we go. When I do that and I say search, it's gonna come up with all of these videos on how to heal eyesight naturally. And now when your ad runs alongside them, it's really gonna complement and help the viewer understand why you are 
the right person to, well, basically, you know already they have the problem and it's going to help you get in front of the right people that actually have the problem at the moment. So this is why this is extremely powerful because we can target people when they are watching videos to help them solve their problems and we can say, hey, just choose me. I'll help you solve the problem even faster. So Tube Sift is extremely cool. You can also search uh, videos that are related to other videos and you can also search by channels as well. Just a note of caution, if you try and put in channels here, sometimes it doesn't spend your budget properly. So you'll have to go here, select the channel, select all the videos from the channel and put in all of the videos from the channel instead of just saying uh, YouTube ads, please target this YouTube channel. And that's basically how you do placement targeting. Now I recommend that you do about 300 videos and make sure there's intent behind all of those videos and make sure those videos are on topic and basically they are focused on what you're trying to sell or focused on the problems of people who would be ideal clients for you as well. So once you do that, you're just going to put your video link in here and then you are good to go and you're going to say create campaign. Now, if you have any question up until this stage, I want you to post it below in the comment section and I'll help you out. Let's get on to the next form of targeting. Next, we need to talk about our audience and what we're going to do third is build an audience campaign. Now, the cool thing or rather the scary thing is that Google is always, always gathering our data. You know it. I know it. So, for example, Google knows what websites you go on. They know what apps you like to install and download. They know what blogs you're constantly reading and they know what YouTube videos you're constantly watching as well. So what YouTube is doing or rather what Google is doing because Google owns YouTube. What Google is doing is it's constantly gathering all these datas and it's kind of building up uh, advertising profile for you. So, for example, I love playing games. I love building PCs. I love watching videos, people playing games and building PCs. So when Google is making an audience and let's say, for example, you search for audience and you're searching for people interested in, in gaming or building gaming PCs, I'm going to be part of that audience. Why? Because Google knows that I am always throughout my life. I am going through these things no matter what at no matter what age or stage in my life it's something that i'm interested in we call these affinity audiences because it's something that you're always gravitating towards and google ads will put you in the affinity audience profile now let's talk about a different situation what if you're the type of person who needs a new phone because you cracked the screen on your phone and you're researching whether the Samsung Galaxy S21 or S22, whatever it is right now, let's say it's a Samsung Galaxy S22. Now, when you're researching that, when you're reading articles about is it any good, when you're watching comparison videos on YouTube, Google knows. Google knows that you are searching for a particular product and they know that you are struggling with a particular something. And what they'll do is they'll take you and they'll put you in an in-market audience. So pretty much what an in-market audience is somebody who's searching for something right now, not long term, because in two years time, I'm not going to be researching for a Samsung S22. I'm going to be past that stage. I'll have bought one already. But when Google notices that somebody has a peak in searches or somebody is really, really searching for a particular thing, they tend to put you in an in-market audience. So those are our two main audiences, affinity and in-market audiences. And what we're going to do is we are going to build a campaign based on them. So here's how. All right, so this time around, we are going to set up a campaign just like we did before. And we're going to select video again, say continue. But this time around, we are going to call this uh, YouTube ads and we are going to name this. We're going to name this. What are we naming this? We're going to name this audiences. Cool. Audiences is there. Maximize conversions is fine. Daily budget of $10. That's fine. And now when we go down, instead of uh, going to the keyword section or going to the placement section, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and it says audience segments over here. Now, as you can see, 
You can target custom audiences, which means um, you can target specific websites. You can target using your data, but I'm gonna go over to this section over here that says interest and detailed graphics. And over here, oh sorry, interest, interest and detailed demographics, not graphics, all right? And as you can see over here, it says, Ed, I've been playing games too, wrong, too long, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So um, as you can see over here, it says interest in marketing services, Google advertising, all of that stuff over here. But if you go over here, it'll say in market segments and if affinity segments, and these are the powerful ones. So if you go and in market segments, remember these are people in the market right now, active wear, costumes, eyewear, formal wear, handbags, jewelry, lingerie, luggage, men's apparel, outerwear. And that's just one of the sections. So remember everybody in this, basically audience is looking for these things right now motor vehicles auto parts um, you could go to business services advertising business financial services so you can take your pick and pick whatever is vital or valuable to your business all right so i'm going to get out of here and we can also go to life events so when you choose life events you can show your ads to somebody who just recently started a business or is starting a business soon. You can even target somebody who started a new job or is going to be starting a new job. You can target people who just got married or re who recently got married, and you can target people who just purchased a home. Um, so there are plenty, plenty of options over here to really fine tune your targeting and find the best possible source of clients or the best possible description of your ideal client. And then you also get your detailed demographics as well. Um, you can pick them via marital status. So you can show your ads to only people who are in a relationship, single or married, uh, pretty cool. And you can also do it uh, home ownership status as well. Now we go down to the affinity segments. And remember I told you affinity is people who show a lasting interest in a particular field. So let's say for example, home and garden. You could target people who are home decor enthusiasts if you're an interior design company, or you can target DIY yourselfers if you're selling tools or equipment for people to fix up their own homes or fix up their own garden. So the possibilities here are endless and you can find them all in this section over here. One thing you can also do is go over to the search section and you can search for your particular product. So if I go weight loss over here. Okay, we got another weight loss over here. Let's do um, exercise, I think. There we go. Uh, you can also target audiences using the search bar over here. And as you can see, once again, extremely comprehensive, just make sure that the audiences that you are targeting here are actually interested in your product or service or going to be interested in your product and service. And then you'll just create your ad the normal way, click on create. All right, so lastly, we need to talk about remarketing. And if any of you know me and if any of you watch this channel, you know how much I rant and rave about remarketing. It is the coolest thing ever. So. Here's the thing about remarketing. Let's say somebody goes to your website, they see your product or service, and they're thinking about buying from you, but they're not ready yet. Uh, if you have paid for Google ads and somebody's clicked on your ads and they came onto your website and they didn't buy, you've now lost all of your money because that person is just gone. With remarketing, what you do is you basically remind them that you exist and you kind of get them familiar with you until they click on your ad again and eventually maybe they could reconsider and eventually they end up buying. Why? Because it's kind of like following up with the client saying, hey, I know that you're not ready for this product right now, but maybe if I show you these ads, in a few weeks, you'll be ready to purchase. Now, remarketing is one of the cheapest and one of the highest converting ways to get clients in the door on the whole Google Ads platform. And you wanna do this, especially if you have a big um, YouTube channel or if you have a YouTube channel with at least a couple of thousand views every month. And you can also do this if you're getting a website and your website has a couple of thousand visits every month. It's a pretty potent thing and it doesn't take much to set up. So I'm gonna show you now how to set up a remarketing campaign, and this is gonna be our fourth pillar of our targeting scheme, all right?
let's go. All right, so for remarketing, the first thing we wanna make sure is that our actual website or our YouTube is actually connected. Now I have a whole video on remarketing and setting up your remarketing, but I'm just gonna take you through a quick check. So you're gonna go to tools and settings. You are going to go to your, where is it? You're gonna go to your linked accounts. And once you're in your linked account, you're gonna make sure that your YouTube channel is actually connected. So as you can see, my YouTube channel is connected and my Google Analytics is connected to this account as well. Now, once you do that, you'll be actually able to build an audience with your YouTube people in it already and it's pre-populated for you already. So as you can see over here, it says YouTube channel audience and it's all of my YouTube viewers, that's you guys right now already in that audience. Um, I've also got a all visitors Google ads audience as well. Like I said, I'm not gonna go super in depth with this because I think that remarketing video is really gonna help you, link in the description below. But make sure you have at least one of those two, your website or your YouTube channel connected to your ads account. Next thing you wanna do is go to new campaign and we're just gonna follow exactly the same steps as we did last time. And I'm gonna say continue. This time, I'm gonna call this YouTube ads and I'm gonna call it remarketing. Now remember when we're remarketing, we're showing the people who have already watched our videos, we're just queuing them up so they can watch another video or the people who have already visited our websites, we are gonna show them our website again. So this time, we're gonna go all the way down to the same place that we did last time. And we are gonna go to the audience segments over here. But instead of going custom segments or interest and detailed demographics, we're gonna go over to your data and we are going to go here and we are going to choose where we wanna show them to. Now I've got one over here that says uh, explainer audience profitable PPC, that's my website visitors. But when I click on browse, I get to see my website visitors and my YouTube users as well. So here I want the people who have actually visited my YouTube web, um, YouTube channel already. And also I want the people who have visited my website already. So let's just see if we can find more. Hmm, so little, anyway, let's choose them. So that's all I want here, okay? Now, Google is going to try and upsell you and they are going to try and find you more people. And that's really going to break your remarketing. So try not to use any optimized targeting or extended targeting. Try and test out these two audiences first. And then once you see you start getting conversions, then you can opt in for optimized targeting. But if you opt in for optimized targeting straight away, Google is just gonna go and find people who don't know you and show ads to them. And that's not really gonna help you because when it comes to remarketing, it kind of tends to work best when people know you already. And it, that's where the cheap conversions come in. And that's really where the most engagement is going to come from. So when you do optimized targeting, it's really just gonna break your retargeting campaign. So try and switch that off when you're starting off at first. And also, don't be scared if you have a very, very small amount of people that you're gonna burn through your budget. Technically speaking, um, retargeting ads are some of the best, most efficient, and they don't really require that much budget either. So don't be too worried about that as well. Now, if you're worried that you might show over and over again to people and you might end up irritating them because um, your retargeting ads are showing to them all the time. That is a valid argument. So what I would do in that case is you can cap your frequency and try and cap the amount that a single person is going to see it. But don't like uh, go super crazy on it. Just like cap it to about 10 views or something reasonable. Don't do it like they can only see your ad once and then never again because sometimes actually having your ad show a lot to people that helps. And also one thing that you wanna do is, I forgot to put this in the previous ones, but try and disable TV screens because no one is gonna click on your ad or buy anything from a TV. So make sure that's disabled as well. So as you can see, I got YouTube remarketing over there. I've got my audience there and now I'm ready to go. Just copy paste, put in your YouTube ad just like not last time and you are going to create your campaign. All right, so now you have everything in place that you need to run effective targeting 
with your YouTube ads. But how do you know that your YouTube ad is actually structured properly? How do you know that you're saying the right things in your video? And how do you know that your offer is actually good enough to get conversions? Well, my friends, today, I've got good news for you. I've got an entire course on how to build successful Google ads and YouTube ads campaigns. So what I want you to do is check out the link in the description below and just give the course a look and see if it could be a good fit for you. What I'm also doing is including monthly coaching calls. So if ever you want feedback on your ads or you wanna know if your YouTube ads are good enough, you can always ask me that in my private group as well. So make sure you check it out at the link in the description below. Well, we're done with the video. Thank you very much for watching till the end and make sure you like, subscribe and share with a friend. Also, I've got this playlist for you. It's for beginners and I've also got a few targeting playlists for you to go through or rather I've got a few targeting videos for you to go through and you can catch them over here. Till next time, I'll see you. Peace.